Today I want to speak to you about a real turnaround, a spiritual turnaround. We're not talking about religious conversion. That won't help you. Uh, there are many uh, JWs that made that change and it's not helping them. The doctrine is not going to work. It's not scriptural. And so what we're talking about is how God requires, listen, God hates evil. He loves the hote. He hates the het. The hote, uh, the sinner, uh, he died for. Uh, listen to this. Therefore he, that's God, knoweth their evil works, and he overthroweth them in the in one night, in the night, overnight, so that they are crushed. And that, that word for crushed is actually found in Isaiah chapter 53. He was crushed for our iniquities. Um, but what I want to talk to you about right now is, you see, it's almost like a crime scene. Here's this sage, this haham, and uh, he's suffering. And he's got these, these mockers around him. They're supposed to be his friends. And this is a picture of the, uh, of the, of the death of Mashiach and his sufferings. It, it, it's, it's almost like these philosophers are having this dialogue uh, this intellectual discourse, and and they're looking at Job, but they might as well be looking at the one that he's a foreshadow of, the the suffering sage, uh, the Chokma at Golgotha, and here's the word, this really important word. It's 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 hey fe final kaf hafak. It means to overthrow, to turn about, to turn over, to flip, to, to change. And here's what Mashiach says. Unless you become like this little child, Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, and have this hafak, this, this turnover, this turnaround, this, this change, you, you, you can't enter the kingdom of God. You can't, you can't, you can't be saved. Uh, and these people who say, oh yeah, she's saved. She's a blackjack dealer in Vegas, but she's saved. Uh, they, they don't understand that the word uh, uh, it means to turn oneself to, or, or to be changed, to, uh, to overturn your own, your own life. Listen, you remember Mashiach, he went into to the Beis HaMikdash, and he overturned the money changers, their tables. And, uh, and, and this scripture in Job says that he notes, he takes note of our evil deeds. And he overthrows them. So you have, basically you have a choice. You can either, either overthrow your old, old life, or, or you can have God overthrow it. One way or the other, it's going to be overthrown, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you. One way or the other, it's going to be overthrown. And uh, when you look at uh, the Orthodox Jewish Bible, when you look at Job chapter 34, verse 25, uh, when you look at Matthew 18, 3, when you look at uh, this word, uh, Dalit Kath Aleph, which is both in Job 34, 25 and Isaiah 53, 5, it, 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 it means crushed. It says, uh, so that they are crushed. The evil deeds that are overthrown, overturned, they're going to be crushed. And he was crushed for our transgressions, for our iniquities. So, you see, Mashiach loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. He looked at those money changer temple, those uh, tables in the in the Beis HaMikdash, and he was angry. Uh, and, and friend, you've got to hate evil. You've got to get angry at, at evil. You you got to be like Mashiach with the money changers temple uh, in the, uh, the the table in the temple. You 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 got to get angry, and, and you got to overthrow your old life. Uh, 
because in the Aseris HaDevros, uh, Anarchy, uh, number one, uh, imagine an atheist convention. Go in there, man, and turn over those, those, temp those tables. Or Elohim Acharim. Uh, uh, imagine a bunch of Buddhist monks uh, and their false religion, or the JWs. You you gotta you gotta you gotta overturn those tables. And I'm saying that if, if something of this nature is in your life, if you have an idol, you gotta get rid of it. Uh, you gotta overturn it. You have to get angry about it. Psalm 97, I think it's verse 10, says to get angry. Uh, Lo tisa, uh, blasphemy. Uh, you know those Instagram blasphemers. You got to turn their tables over. Or Zachor, the loafers uh, who violate the fourth commandment. Uh, they, six days thou shalt labor. They don't want to labor. So they're, those, they're in, the, in, the, in the house of worship uh, on, on, the, on Shabbos. Uh, they don't take any time. They're hooky players. You, you have to t turn, the tables, uh, turn the tables on them. Or here you got... Uh, uh, the fifth commandment, Kabed Aviha Imeha. Uh, we're talking about the father and the mother. So the Oedipus and the Electra complex degenerates, their tables have to be turned over. People who hate their parents. Listen, friend, Lo uh, Tirzak, the ISIS murderers that are cutting everybody's heads off, their table has to be overturned. You got to get angry. Get see Yeshua. He's angry. He goes in there and he turns those tables over. Uh, or uh, Lo Tinaf, the pornography, the immoral, the film stars. They're all lounging around the set. Turn their tables over. Lo Tignov, uh, the uh, thieves. Right now in Washington D.C., we have the thieves of state. A poor guy gets in the Senate. Four years later, he leaves a rich man. Uh, you got to go in there and turn over, turn over his table. Or what about the ninth commandment, the, uh, the uh, a liars convention, uh, where it says, uh, uh, "Aid check hair." Uh, you know, you got to go in there and turn over the tables. Uh, low talk mode, the uh, snazzier than yours covet con conclave, the the uh, auto convention or whatever. Turn the tables over. So friend, here's what I'm trying to tell you. You have to hate your old life without the Lord. You have to despise that sin. Not the sinner, the sin. You have to get angry about it. Yes, get angry about the devil and about the old life that you had. We have all these lukewarm believers, half in and half out. They really haven't made that kind of commitment against their old life. They're not like Yeshua. He had that whip. He went into the uh, Beis Hamikdash and he turned the tables over, man. He was angry. And you got to get angry. Because if you're not, it says he notes their evil deeds. Job chapter 34, verse 25. And he overthrows them. If you don't overthrow them, he's going to overthrow them. He says he does it overnight. In a hurry. All of a sudden. And it says, so that they are crushed. He was crushed for our iniquities. Mashiach loves the sinner. He hates the sin. You've got to see the old Hoteh. Hoteh, the old sinner that you were. You gotta hate that guy. At least hate it. I'm not saying hate the sinner. I'm saying hate the sin. Everything he was into. You gotta get rid of it. You gotta you gotta turn it over. Now, when you do this, when you when you do this hafak, turn about, turn over, flip, change, turn. When you do this, you are really making teshuvah. That's what teshuvah is. It's not just a little thing that you do at the shul. It's, it's a matter of the heart. And I'm going to pray right now. Lord, I want to pray that everyone who hears this video will get ready for Pesach. 
They will, they will remove the old leaven of pride. And they, they will see that they have to turn to the Lord. And they've got to turn away from evil and hate evil. And they've got to uh, uh, go back and look at this verse, uh, Job chapter 34, verse 25, and, Ma and Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, and become like a little child. The Lord is speaking to the little child in each one of us. That little child who was small in his own, in his own sight, who was still teachable and still looking uh, to be taught and had a uh, softer heart. That's the little child that he's addressing. Unless you turn over the old wickedness and have a complete turnaround and become like that little child, uh, you can't enter the kingdom of God. And un unless you repent, you will all alike perish. Amen.